Good morning, and a beautiful morning it is. We're going to do something special today. I'm going to take you to see some practical shotgunning. Practical shotgunning comes out of the practical shooting competitions that started in the 1970s, mainly started by law, law enforcement personnel. Practical shooting gives one the opportunity to actually practice your different skills, you know, quick firing, accuracy, reloading your weapon, moving from barrier to barrier, this type of thing, changing targets. Uh, because this is more real world, of course. Practical shotgunning came out of the three-gun match, which was rifle, pistol, and shotgun. It's become very popular, it's, it's inexpensive, it's fun. Uh, it can be set up on very elaborate courses or very simple courses. The one we're going to go to today is a pretty simple course. Part of the reason practical shotgunning is popular is because there are some places where shotguns are literally the only legal firearm a person can have for home defense. They can be used, you know, extensively for target shooting. They can be used to put meat on the table, everything from birds to deer, depending on the type of ammunition you're using, depending on the type of barrel you put on the shotgun. The shotgun is a very versatile weapon. The 12 gauge pump shotgun comes very close to being the most versatile and most perfect weapon ever invented. It's also the most common shotgun found in practical shotgun shooting probably better than 90% of the shotguns you will see at a match are going to be 12 gauge pump guns. And the majority of those will be either the Remington 870 or its derivatives or the Mossberg 500 or its derivatives. Both are favored by military and police. Both are extremely trustworthy, reliable, durable, easy to maintain, easy to take care of, and they're actually fairly inexpensive. I've enhanced this particular one with a rail sight. This is a fiber optic rail sight that glows, allows you to pick up your target or acquire your target very quickly. It helps you out in dim light situations or in a forested area where it's shadowed, etc. It's very important to not only be accurate, but to be fast in practical shotgun because you are scored on the time it takes you to put down 24 targets. There are a lot of different sights out there on the market today. This one is very different, very unique because it's also a mil-spec rail for optics, for scopes, for lasers, for whatever you want to put on it. You attach a scope to this and suddenly your shotgun becomes a pretty effective weapon over a fairly good range, especially for slug shooting, favored for deer hunting, great for uh, low light conditions, dim light, or in a heavily wooded area, that type of thing. We can show you an example of how that's going to look. Now what makes practical shooting fun, and shotgun shooting fun especially, is that it's all about speed and accuracy. In a standard match, you will have 24 targets and 25 shells. You only want to use 24 shells because every time you miss a target, you're docked 5 seconds. That's why a sight like this comes into its own in practical shooting, just as it would in a home defense or a hunting type situation. Now my best time for 24 targets has been 21 seconds which is pretty fast for a shotgun. It would be slow for pistol or a rifle, but it's fast for shotgun, and you'll see why, of course, when we're on the course. You have six targets in a set or a stage, and you have six rounds, and you have a seventh round that you can reload if you elect to do so, but that's always a risk because if you miss and you dock five seconds, that seventh round may give you another five seconds. Now, you may ask about accuracy. In Hollywood, if I was to grab a shotgun like this and fire it from the hip madly, I would shoot down dozens of zombies would go flying off into the woods. That isn't exactly realistic. I'll show you here in the video. I have five targets, steel plates, set up at 45 feet, and with this exact shotgun, I will shoot targets one, three, and five to just to demonstrate that the shotgun doesn't simply mow down everything in sight. Quite to the contrary. It may have a large pattern at 45 feet of 8 to 10 inches, but the majority of shot will go right down the center of that pattern. So if you don't get a clean hit, you won't knock over the target. You won't get a score and you'll be docked 5 seconds. I'll show you a video here of two swinging targets where the shooter is making a near miss on one and a solid hit on the other. And you can clearly see the difference between a near hit or a near miss and a solid hit. This would be scored, of course, the solid hit would be a point, the near miss would not be a point in it. The uh, accuracy is far more important than you might believe with a shotgun. It is not Hollywood, this is real world. 
and this is why it's important to practice with a shotgun. If you've had a shotgun for years sitting in your closet and believe that you can use it defending your home in a situation where you can't back off and escape, you might not be that correct. Simply the sound, of course, of that is going to scare away a lot of burglars and home invaders, but more effectively can you actually use it in a situation where you have to fire speedily and accurately. A well, practical shotgun gives you the opportunity to learn that, and if you don't, it gives you a great opportunity to practice it. Very simple weapon, one with very simple to use, but it's never simple when you want to be good. So let's go see some practical shotgunning today. We're going to see some folks who are both in law enforcement and military, plus civilians. We're going to see men and women. Uh, we may have a couple children there today. Everybody enjoys practical shotgunning. So let's go shotgunning. Put on your eyes for safety. Put on your ears. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> 